This video has tons of Christmas crafts inspiration for you. Let's get started. Heading to Dollar Tree on this rainy morning, but I am looking for some wood stems. You know what I'm talking about. These wood stems you can find at Dollar Tree pretty much any time of the year. And they come in different sizes. Some are flat and more thicker, and some are longer, thinner. But the variety is so good for crafting. I'm going to start with some of these longer, thinner ones that come in each packet. And I am going to attempt to make five rows of six stems and we are going to try to turn them into a star now my initial plan was to take my drill and drill some holes like i'm showing you here on each stem on both sides not all the way through just about maybe a quarter of an inch this is so that we can then join them together like like a longer stick again this was my original plan but i did change my mind and i'm going to tell you i just ended up gluing them together <laughs> <laughs> and it actually worked so good but i still want to show you this in case you want to do it yourself i just grabbed one of those popsicle sticks that you can buy at the craft store and i'm just going to cut them in like little half inch size ones and then add hot glue into each hole and join them together just like that now this is a lot stronger hold it's not going to go anywhere but in all reality like i said i ended up just hot gluing the, the rest of them to each other and it worked really really well but this is how this first one turned out and i just did the other ones just hot gluing them together now i have five sticks now if you have sticks from outside by all means go grab them <laughs> and you can recreate this but using this stem it really gave us so much more character once i had the star nicely put together i'm gonna hot glue where each stick meets so anywhere where they touch each other, I'm just adding some hot glue. And then I am going to take some jute string and tie the five points of the star so that it has a lot more secure hold. And what I did was I created a little loop on the jute string, tighten each corner, and then just hot glue the loose end. And it was pretty sufficient. It really is a strong hold. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me And look how well these stuck together. I mean, it's really good. Anyways, I'm now going to move on to adding some snow-like paint. Now, this is a little mixture of spackle from Dollar Tree and chalk paint that I usually pre-mix and have it on hand pretty much all the time. I recently mixed this together and I'm just going to just start dabbing it kind of like if snow just fell on the star and it just kind of landed on the branches <laughs> and I'm going to do that all around the star. And once it was dry, it's just magical. I love the texture that it gave it. It just looks like real frosted snow. Now I'm gonna take this greenery from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna cut off some of the branches and hot glue them to the left side of the star, kind of like in between those two sticks there. And I'm just gonna keep adding until it just kind of looks full enough, but it doesn't kind of take over. And then once I had it hot glued, it's time to add just some other different type of greenery, also from Dollar Tree, again, just to add a little bit of fullness and texture then these little berry bundles are from dollar tree they already come in little bundles of three i'm just going to tighten them cut off the excess stem and just hot glue one of three in one side and then a little bundle of two on the other side and then just to kind of hang the star in case we want to hang it i'm just going to add a jute string through the top point make a knot and that's it oh i love this one it's so rustic it's actually a really good size and it's definitely one of my favorites from today everything will be okay because all i want to do is spend this holiday with you for this next dollar tree christmas hack i'm going to take several of these stems i'm going to take two longer ones but they're thicker two flat ones thicker ones and then several of the long thin ones because we're going to make some really cute rustic reindeers i saw these on in pinterest and i just thought i have to recreate them how fun would this be to also do with your kids or your grandkids of course with supervision but i think it'd be so much fun all right so as you can see i hot glued two of the thinner ones to the end of each of the longer thicker ones and then on the flat ones i'm just going to drill a couple of holes this is going to be essentially the head of the reindeer 
And I'm going to make those holes kind of like on top, but also kind of like tilted to the side. And then I'm going to hot glue the head right onto the smaller stick, just like that. For the antlers, we're just going to use some of these little branches from this pick I got on Amazon. I'm just going to place them in the little holes with some hot glue. And now it's time to add the legs. Now this is where it gets a little tricky just because you want to find legs that are as close as possible to even size. If they're not even, that's okay. Don't worry. Mine were not. They're a little tilted, <laughs> but it worked out fine in the end. So I'm just going to hot glue them to the bottom of each reindeer. And again, this is just going to be the little legs where the reindeer is going to stand on. And then I decided just needed a little something to the front. So I decided to take these little berries. One is in the red. One is in the golden tone and we're just going to hot glue it to the head on the front side and that way it looks like little rudolph and maybe a friend <laughs> right next to him and i think it's just adorable you can make a whole little family of reindeer you can use these as also ornaments i think the possibilities are endless For this next Dollar Tree Christmas hack is the easiest one. We're going to make little firewood bundles out of these stems. We're going to take three bundle. We're going to make three bundles of three. There you go. And we're just going to hot glue them together, two together, and then one on top. And we're going to do that to all three. And then we're going to take some juice drink. We're going to tie it around in a simple knot. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to check out those links, they are in the description box. So just check it out. It is down below. And when you're there, just say hi. Once I had the bundles nice and tight, I'm just going to grab a longer piece of jute string. And this is what we're going to use to create a little hanging string. We're going to tie it around just like we did originally. And we're going to try to keep it as aligned with the other knot as possible. And then just make another knot on top. And that way we have a nice hanging little firewood bundle. Again, so easy, something you can definitely make with your kiddos or grandkids. How fun are these? It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why. For the next Dollar Tree Christmas hack is another super easy one. We're going to take several of the thicker flat ones and we're going to make little snowman ornaments. It is so easy. We're going to take the larger ones and that's going to be the bottom part of the snowman and then a smaller one. We're going to hot glue it right on top. And then we're going to take some of this red string that I got at Dollar Tree. We're just going to wrap it around the neck to create the illusion of a scarf. We're going to tie it in a knot. So easy. Anyone can do this. You can use any string you want, any ribbon, even fabric if that's what you want to use. And we're going to do the same thing on all three snowmen. Now we are going to place one of these little eye hooks to the top of each snowman so that we can hang him. I'm just going to pre-drill a hole on the top of the head and just then screw in each eyelet. These are so easy to use. I get these packets on my Amazon store. And speaking of my Amazon store, it is linked down below. I always add all of my favorite items right in there. So if you want to check it out, it is linked below. So we're just going to add one to each and then we're going to take more of that red string and you're just going to tie it to the little hook. And that's it. This is what we're going to hang it from. Such an easy craft. You can add a little nose. You can add buttons. I just thought I'd leave them right, nice and simple. Very rustic. And I just love the way this one turned out. For the next Dollar Tree Christmas hack, another easy craft that anyone can make. I'm going to take three additional ones of those larger flat ones and I'm going to drill a hole right in the center. Doesn't have to go all the way through. 
just about halfway through. Then I'm going to take a combination of different greeneries from Dollar Tree, cut off some of the branches, and add them to the hole with some hot glue. This is going to give me three little tiny trees, evergreen, that you can add to a little village. You can add to any decor. They're just so cute, so festive. I love them. And that's pretty much it. I told you it was easy. Such a cute idea. You can actually make this for any season and use whatever floors you want. And I think it will look so, so cute. For the next Dollar Tree Christmas hack, I'm going to take some more of those longer ones in a combination of thinner and thicker ones. And we're just going to start hot gluing them all in a row, adding six of them. And that's gonna be the base of what will be a little Christmas tree. And then once I had six of them hot glued together, we're gonna to add five on top and then four and then three and then two and then one. You see where I'm going with this. We're just gonna hot glue them in place until we have a nice triangle shape tree. Friends, I also have my Etsy shop linked down below in the description box. I'm adding all kinds of festive seasonal tote bags and other decals that I know you're going to love. Check it out. It is linked down below. Once I had the tree all made, I'm going to take three of, or not three, two of the thicker flat ones. We're going to hot glue them together and then hot glue the tree right on top. Then I'm going to really secure it and just making sure it's not going to go anywhere by adding some hot glue on the bottom. I'm going to take the Waverly chalk paint and the moss green and just start painting the front of the tree as well as the top or like the sides of the tree. We're not looking for full coverage. I actually want it to look a little sloppy so it looks a little bit more of a distressed rustic look. And once it was dry, it's looking so adorable. Okay, so now it's time to add some greenery. Again, we're going to take some of this greenery from Dollar Tree, take some of the branches. We're just going to start hot gluing it just kind of until I see what I like. I want it to be kind of full, but not overwhelming. And so I'm just going to keep adding some of the greenery right onto the bottom stems. Then I'm going to add one of these little pine cones right to the center. And I thought it was just needed a little bit more of like a red tone. So I'm adding one more of those little red berry bundles from Dollar Tree. Hot glue it to the side and look how cute this is. It's adorable. Now think about this. You can make this tree any size you want. You can make it way larger, thicker, taller. Oh, the possibilities are endless, but I love the way this one turned out. Let me know what you think though down in the comments. But that's it for today. I have another video here for you to watch with tons more Christmas inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.